All right, we're here with AB head football coach Sal DeWalt. Uh, Sal, you got, your guys have been here for about a week now. So, um, how has practice going for you guys, especially with moving into pads over the weekend? Uh, I, th <clears throat> I think things are going really well. Um, the kids have been working really hard here. Um, over the last seven days, we just finished our uh, seventh practice yesterday. Um, they're working hard. The coaching staff's doing a great job, and you know they're flying around. And we just got through the install, and, and I think we're in a pretty pretty good spot right now. We just got to get better here over the next the next couple of days here before classes start. Um, how has the transition away from two a days changed things for the team and the coaching staff as a whole? I think for the team, um, you know, a couple of years ago they they changed it where you were allowed two a days only every other day, and so they cut back on it a couple of years ago. I think the biggest change this year was we were allowed to come in about four days earlier, which extended camp a little bit. So just trying to keep the guys fresh, making sure they're not worn out. Um, you know, we have an off day today we built into the schedule. So, you know, the biggest thing for us is just trying to keep the guys fresh and making sure, that, you know, they're flying around. And, and while we're out there, again, something productive done, but at the same time, you know, taking some time to relax. And we've been trying to get them out of meetings earlier at night and, you know, trying to not make it, you know, as much of a day-to-day a, a -day grind experience for him, but just trying to have a purpose and trying to get better with everything we're doing. Um, AB is coming off a 9-2 and two season and won the inaugural GMAC championship a season ago. Uh, what goals have you set for yourself um, in year one as a coach, that, you know, after taking over for, uh, you know, Denny, who was here for the first four years of the program? I, I, th I think the biggest thing for us, and I, I talked to the kids about this the other day, and we've been talking about this a lot, is 2016, you know, officially behind us. We got a lot of new faces here. Um, we lost 39 seniors last year, so we got a lot of new faces here in the program. Um, we got a bunch of new coaches in the program. So, you know, the biggest thing for us right now, and I, I keep talking to the team about this, like 2016 was great, but our biggest goal right now for 2017 is to beat Saginaw Valley here on September 2nd. Um, that's really, you know, the only thing we're working for right now every single day. And you talked about losing a lot of players. You know, you lost the 39 seniors from a year ago, lost a lot of starters on both sides of the ball. But, you know, returning from last year, who do you see as potentially somebody who could be a breakout player or continue to do what they uh, accomplished from 2016? I think I think um, one guy offensively that, that I'm expecting a really big year out of is A.J. Cummings. Um, he, he's a little slot receiver for us, a little small in stature, but – um, every time he touches the ball, he, he definitely has the capability to take that thing to the house. And we're expecting a lot of things from him. And we're expecting a lot of things from our receiving core. Um, you know, so he's definitely one guy, you know, I'm definitely expecting some big things from out of, out of our returning players. All right. Thank you, Coach.